Hi friends, I was often asked to show how to convert the computer power supply into a charger for car batteries or a laboratory power supply. Well, take a soldering iron as this day has come. Before we start, I note that during the rework we must be very careful as we deal with high voltage. During the adjustments, be sure that the power supply is switched off from the mains. It is advised to discharge the electrolytes with high capacity or after a shutdown, wait a few minutes until the shunt resistors drain the capacitor. The circuit according to which we will rework is rather popular and known as the circuit from the Italian. It is relevant for power supplies of ATX format based on TL494. Modern power supplies are built on a wide variety of PWM chips. The most common are power supplies based on the TL494 or its analog KA7500 and the comparator LM339. I have never shown the process of converting power supplies because I think it is easier to assemble a new unit with my own hands than to redo a computer power supply. Although there are a lot of articles about that topic in the network, but they all tell us about the reworking of specific power supplies. Here can't be universality. It took hard work to make that power supply work as it should. The Italian circuit is reliable, but to apply it to power supplies based on the TL494 and comparator LM339, you will have to throw half of the circuit and very carefully, so that you don't accidentally throw out something that is necessary. Therefore, it was decided to make an affordable manual for remodeling power supplies. Everything will be very clear in the pictures and explained in details. First, you need to find the power supply. Suitable units are built on only one TL494 and more modern ones include the comparator LM339 and PWM TL494. First, we connect the green wire with any of the black ones to start the power supply. The fan starts to spin, it indicating that the unit is probably working. Then we check the voltage at the output of the power supply with a multimeter. As we know, it is 3.3, 5 and 12 volts. If everything is normal, we open the case, take out the board and unsolder all the wires, leaving only a pair of black ones, a pair of yellow and a green wire. They are needed for tests. Later, they will be replaced or removed. Next, you can remove the diode assemblies on lines 5 and 3.3 volts. The capacitor on the 12 volt line should be replaced with another one with a higher voltage, for example by 25, preferably 35 or 50 volts. Capacity from 1000 to 2200 microfarad. It is very, very desirable to use capacitors with low internal resistance. Now look at the TL494. In my case, it is an analog KA7500. We must remove everything that goes to the first pin of the chip. It's usually a few resistors. Next, look at pins 15, 14 and 13. Most likely, they will be connected with each other. We need to separate the 15 pin from the other two. I cut the track so pins 1 and 15 are hanging in the air. The same we must do with pin 16, freeing it from the connected components. Now take any resistor of 2.2 kilo ohm and connect it between the ground of the power supply, the black wires and the first pin of the chip. Next we find a variable resistor of 20 kilo ohm and connect it as shown in the photo. In theory, we are ready to adjust the voltage, but nothing needs to be checked yet. Next, find a pair of resistors with a resistance of 0.1 ohm, 5 watts and connect them in parallel. Connect one end to the ground of power supply and the other to the pin 16 of TL494. This resistor became as a current sensor. Do you think it's all? No, only the half work is done. Next, you need to download the archive, which you will find in the description. There, you will find a circuit board made with the program Sprint Layout, which I made for you and signed in detail. 
Most PCB boards for radio amateurs are made at home. It's a long and laborious process. The GLC PCB service will help you to solve the issue with the boards once and forever. This is one of the largest factories for manufacturing printed circuit boards of any complexity. Just download your Gerber file, select the desired option, and this is all. The prices start from $2 for 10 pieces, and there is a free delivery for the first order. A link to GLCPCB can be found in the description. All points on this board should be connected to the corresponding points indicated on the diagram. Now that's all. We can begin tests. I did everything on the layout board as I had to experiment. Now all this needs to be put in order. Wires that go from the self-made board must be shielded type and as short as possible. Connection points are desirable and even necessarily filled with the resin or hot glue. A wire break may cause the malfunction of all construction. Now you need extreme caution. Before touching the power supply board, be sure that it is disconnected from the mains. And during the operation of the power supply, it's better to cover it with something, for example a plastic container. Now we can connect green and black wires. But before this, we must take for safety a lamp of 40 to 60 watts and connect the power supply to the network only through this lamp. Otherwise, fireworks may be possible if something wrong. Turn on. First, we regulate the voltage. You can see that everything is perfectly regulated from 1.5 to 15 plus volts. Also possible more, but this unit will be used as a charger for car batteries and there is enough 15 volts. The unit should operate for several minutes. You can connect also a small load. If everything is fine, we remove the safety lamp and connect a more serious load to the output of the power supply. In my case, it's a halogen of 16 watts. The multimeter shows the value of current and as you can see, the current is also perfectly regulated. You can get more than 10 amperes. It remains only to connect a volt ammeter, for example, Chinese digital model, which costs two to three dollars, and all will be ready. It is connected as follows. In the next video, we will add to this power supply a protection unit against reverse polarity. Then we will make more detailed tests to understand how good it is and how secure it works. 
Friends, all the necessary information is in the description. If you like this video, please don't forget to rate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my group in Facebook. The link is under the description. Now I just have to say goodbye until new meetings. With you was Kaisan TV.